Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I want to teach you about the basics of creating surfaces. So to start out I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a surface in UMake. Let's draw a circle. There we go. If I select the circle by double tapping on it you'll see that the circle turns into an orange color. This indicates I can create a surface and I know that because over in the side menu I have the ability to create surface. I'm going to tap create surface and now if I orbit around you can see that I have a surface that has been created within the circle. I'm going to change the color of it. I have this nice surface here. Now that's the easiest way to make a surface in UMake. A circle is a closed shape and when you're working in UMake to create surfaces most of the time you'll need to make sure that the shape or that the curves surrounding the surface that you want to make are closed, that there's a closed shape. For example, if I make a square, again, this is a closed shape, I can create another surface. Now, if I want to create a lofted surface, I can draw two curves like this and I can create a surface between these two curves. This is called a lofted surface. I'm going to double tap on each curve. You'll see that when I have more than one selected, I get this yellow color indicating I can create a surface between them. I'm going to come up and tap create surface. And now I have a lofted surface. So there's two curves. I'm going from one curve to two curves. Let's try three curves. Well, three curves gets interesting. If I draw a closed triangle, then no issue. I can create a surface. But if I close, if I draw a triangle that is not closed, you'll notice something happens. I've selected all three curves, but they are blue. They're not orange. And over here in the side menu, I don't have the option to create a surface between them. I have two options in this, in this case. I can deselect all of them and I can come in here and edit this curve and bring it down and snap to this point to close it off, in which case I can now make a surface because this is a closed shape, or I can sketch another line here between these two points. I'm going to use the sketch plane points to do this. And I now have a four-sided closed shape which I can create a surface with. So keep that in mind. When you are creating surfaces in UMake, you almost always have to have them closed. With the exception of lofting surfaces between two curves, you need to make sure that when you're creating surfaces, the curves that you're creating them from are closed. Almost anything more than two, if you have three or four, you need to do that. In addition to this, four curves is the maximum number of curves you can use to create a closed shape to make a surface. If, for example, I make a five sided shape, you'll notice that if I select them, it will remain blue and I won't have the option to create a surface. So that's the basics of creating surfaces in UMake. I want to show you one other thing, and that is that I made all of these on one single plane to show you kind of the uh, work, workflow of creating surfaces using the number of curves. However, all of these surfaces are flat right now. If any of these curves existed in 3D space or were a little, were a little bit more three-dimensional, the surfaces would be two. In addition to that, as long as you don't split a curve that you made a surface with, you can edit the surface with the edge curves. So for example, if I edit this curve by 
select it and go into the edit mode and I move one of these points out along another plane you'll notice that the surface is now more three-dimensional same thing goes for this triangle I can even add a control point here and change the location of that point and now I have a more complex shape so these are the basics of how you create surfaces in UMake and how you can edit the surfaces using the edge curves. That's basically the workflow for doing surface modeling with NURBS curves in UMake. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram pages. And we can't wait to see what you do with surfaces. We're going to have many more tutorials covering the more complex attributes of surfaces, but for now, this is just the uh, basics that you need to know to get started. Have a great day, and we can't wait to see what you make. Take care, guys.